There are three possible solutions tonight to Rossford's challenges with staffing a fire department around the clock. The mayor offered those up this week to city council and WTOL 11's Maya May joins us in studio. So how did this issue come about? Jeff, this station gets up to 1300 calls a year, which the chief says is up from previous years. He's hopeful permanent relief will come soon. Between September and August of this year, the Rossford Fire Department staff was cut short when four of its firefighters moved to new jobs and one left on maternity leave. We've obviously faced a lot of staffing challenges that's not just inherent to our community. It is uh, nationwide with uh, paid on call or part time fire departments. Uh, call volumes have increased while people's lives have just gotten busier and they've had less time to come to work. Rossford's fire chief Josh Druard says it's added a new layer of stress to an already demanding job. The first three days of this week we've had two people on duty and today we just have one. So, um, you know, you always worry about that, uh, that type of call or if you get a call that's severe in nature where you need people in a hurry. But last month, Rossford's mayor Neil McKinnon III promised to deliver rejuvenating options for the station on or before the start of the new year. During Monday's city council meeting, he offered this. Of those three options, one was for us to go, go it alone. The second option was for us to form a district with some of our neighbors who are contiguous to us. And the third was to do a merger with Perrysburg Township. The mayor favors the last option. This option would provide 24-7, 365 days a year coverage here in town at our existing station and their station out at the crossroads. Chief Druard says the final decision will come after much consideration of city council, but what matters is having a reliable station. Obviously, the city's taking it pretty seriously, uh, and we need, we need around-the-clock coverage. Of those options, the mayor says the only option that would not require funding approval from taxpayers is the Perrysburg Township merger. We'll keep you updated on the situation and let you know what council decides. Reporting in studio, Maya May for WTOL 11.